shock. Hospital revealed Archie's real birth certificate as Meg used his B-Day not attend coronation. Archie was born around April 20. Hospital revealed Archie's real birth certificate. Meg lied about everything. Why is Archie's birth certificate sealed? Who believes Archie was born on May 6? Recently, close source spilled the beans he was born of a surrogate around April 20 or so. Allegedly, he was born by C-section before May 6. She needed his birth to fit in her timeline, so he was born early. When they presented him to the journalists, that wasn't him. There were follow-up photos that showed him with a tiny tube going through his nose, and he was very tiny. Looked like it said nine days after the birth. Like hospitals do it day off. If they have an attending physician. No one listed. Or nobody signing off on this dubious info. It's worthless paper. In other news, Prince Harry will attend King Charles III's coronation, Buckingham Palace has confirmed. The Duke of Sussex, 38, will travel to London ahead of the historic service on May 6, but his wife, Meghan Markle, 41, will remain in Montecito, California, with their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. There had been speculation around whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would join senior royals for the crowning of King Charles and Queen Camilla, after a spokesperson initially declined to confirm their plans. In a statement released to the Daily Telegraph, Buckingham Palace said, Buckingham Palace is pleased to confirm that the Duke of Sussex will attend the coronation service at Westminster Abbey on May 6. The Duchess of Sussex will remain in California with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. From when it will happen to how it will differ from the Queen's. Prince Harry unexpectedly flew to the UK last month for high court proceedings involving a British newspaper publisher. He is part of a group of high-profile individuals, including Elton John and Sadie Frost, who are suing Associated Newspapers Limited ANL, publishers of the Daily Mail, the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online. During the visit the Duke of Sussex reportedly stayed at Frogmore Cottage and used the trip as an opportunity to sort out his and Meghan Markle's remaining belongings. It is not known whether he will once again stay at the property when he returns for the coronation. This is traditionally a very crown-forward event. The five-bedroom property on the grounds of the Windsor Estate holds a special place in the hearts of the couple, who called the property home from spring 2019 until their decision to step down as working royals in early 2020. They refurbished the property at an estimated cost of £2.4 million, about $3 million, between 2018 and 2019. Initially funded by the taxpayer, the sum was later repaid in full by Prince Harry following news of the couple's departure from official royal life. The couple